This is Cytoscape 3.7.0, and I'm going to demonstrate filtering. Filtering in Cytoscape actually performs a selection, so you'll find it under the Select tab. Let's go ahead and start with um, a sample session, the Yeast Perturbation Network, for example. Switch back over to the Select tab, and we can start adding conditions for filtering or for selection. I'm going to demonstrate the column filter and the degree filter in this video. Let's start with the degree filter. It automatically detects the minimum and maximum degree, or number of in and out connections per node. You can specify if you want to look at incoming or outgoing only, and you can look at the negation as well. Here, as an example, let's say we're interested in the highly connected nodes. We can just drag this up. And now we're looking at anything that has four degrees, four degrees of connections or greater. You can also type in numbers here. As you move this, you'll see the selection changing. And you'll also get a number at the bottom of how many nodes. So here our filtering has selected 35 nodes. You can always click on New Network from Selection to create a new network from just those 35 nodes. You'll note that some of these no longer have four connections, and that's because we didn't bring over all the nodes. We brought only the hub nodes from the prior network. But all of these had four or more connections in the original network. Great, let's go back to the original network and clear our selection and clear our filtering and we'll create a column filter instead. Columns refer to the node table and you can filter by any of the values um, in your node table. We're gonna filter by one of the data columns showing GAL1 RG expression values. And again, the minimum and maximum are filled in for you. And you can drag or type in numbers to select what you want. Uh, with expression data, it's common to want the large values that are both um, large negative and large maximum. You can simply do that by saying it is not, and then specifying the middle range. Here, typing it in is helpful to get precisely what you want. For example, we've now excluded all the low expressing values. And um, again, uh, that leaves us with 46 nodes. You can combine filters, so we can leave this column filter in place and add our degree filter back that we had before. Bring this up to four. We can see we're now down to one node that has both four or more degrees and a strong expression value that happens to be GAL1. 